So welcome to this video about histograms. Um, and uh, before we move on to an actual question, it's very, it's very important that you, that you realize, okay, so what is a histogram? Well, first of all, of course, it's a way to present information, okay? It's a way to present data. Um, but um, it's not a bar chart, okay? Because some people think, oh, it's, it's a bar chart, and they make all sorts of mistakes because they don't know how to read a histogram. Yeah? Now, what is important about a histogram, first of all, the bars are joined together always. Yeah, a bar chart, for instance, the bars may have a space between them. Yeah? Not necessarily, but they may have space between them. Yeah? But for a histogram, they're always joined together. And very important about histograms is is that the width of those bars they may differ. Yeah, for a bar chart, it's always the same width, but for a histogram, that is not the case. Yeah, it may differ. Okay, but most importantly is. Let's say we're talking about the height of goats, yeah? Um, that, yeah, so the height on the x-axis and three meters square tall for a goat, but let's say, you know, just for the sake of this example, this is the height of goats. And on the y-axis, it doesn't say frequency, but it says frequency density, okay? And that word is very important because how do I interpret a histogram? Well, it's not just the frequency, yeah, it is the frequency density. So if they would ask me how many goats are between zero and one meters, I don't just say three. No, what do I have to do? The frequency is given by the area of each bar. So what is the area? Well, it's a rectangle, so one times three. So in this, uh, for this particular yeah, example, indeed there are three goats between zero and one meters. Yeah? So it happens to be the same as the frequency density, one times three. But if you look at the amount of goats between one and one and a half meters, yeah, the frequency density is six. Yeah? But it does not mean I have six goats between one and 1.5 meters. No, because the area of a histogram, so a half times six, yeah, the area is going to give me my frequency, yeah? So also, three goats between one and one and a half meters, yeah? So now, why is this bar a lot taller than that one? Because the width, the class width is much more narrow, and that's why it's, yeah, more uh, unique that you have also three goats in a smaller class, yeah? So that's why the bar goes up like that. Okay, last one. Um, this is, uh, so how many goats in this category? That is one and a half, okay? So 1.5 times the frequency, density two. So also three goats in that last class. So in total, I have nine goats. And again, why is this one even lower than the first group? Because its class width is larger than that first group, okay? So that's how we can compare um, yeah, uh, the goats and the classes they're in. Um, now go to my next video where I have a past paper question about histograms and then I'm sure you'll even understand it better than you do right now, yeah? It's important to realize that we're talking about frequency density when we're looking at histograms rather than just frequency, like with a bar chart. Okay, so next video. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.